Welcome to the workbench and welcome to another episode of Wheels Wings TV. Today we're going to take a chunk of plastic and have it more closely represent the thin sheet metal that it's supposed to be. Let's have a look. So what we have here is the air brake for the Airfix 172nd scale Blackburn Buccaneer Strike Jet, and it should have a bunch of holes that we've already done here. And now this was made out of thin sheet metal and not a big, thick chunk of plastic. Plastic can do lots of things, represent scale thickness is not one of those. Now you could get a photo etch set that would probably do the same sort of thing but say you don't have that and you want to work with what you have in the kit this is how to do it so first up you're going to want to drill all the holes so having a good pin vise and a good selection of drill bits is a must for any modeler maybe not the most beginner but if you're looking at starting to do more detailing, scratch building, and improving, very important. Now with the holes drilled, many of you would be like, hey, that looks a million times better already. And you would be right, except because we have a relatively thick piece of plastic, on the larger holes, when we look through, we see that thickness, whereas on the real thing, this should be a thin sheet of metal. So how do we do that? Well, that's where one of these comes in handy. This is a, a ball end mill for a Dremel or a motor tool, and this is the secret. So we'll put that in our pin vise, and we simply, because it's round, it locates in the center of our hole. And we give that a few spins, and of course that is carving out the plastic. So then when we come back to the front, we no longer have that thickness readily apparent around the hole. So we simply wash, rinse, and repeat for all of the holes being careful not to go all the way through because then we'll have a very thin and much too big hole in that case. Now when it comes to the smaller holes oftentimes those ball end mills can be a bit too big so just simply using a slightly larger size drill bit than what the hole is will give the same effect once again, being careful not to go all the way through. Now, it's not as important on the smaller holes because you don't have as much to look through, so you don't have the same impression of thickness. And of course, if you don't have any of these ball end mills, you can simply just use a larger drill bit for the whole process and end up with the same result. Constantly check your work, make sure you're not blowing all the way through. And you're just removing excess material. And with all your holes drilled and milled out from the back, just take a little bit of your favorite thin cement and just melt down the edges a little bit just to take any burrs and just take the sharpness off them. And with that, we have a finished piece that has much finer scale fidelity than the original. Lots of different places you can use these on pretty much every genre of model. 
any place where you need to represent a thin piece of metal or other material, and instead you've got a big chunk of plastic. So, have fun, try that one out for yourself. If you'd like to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button, give us a like. Thank you very much, and we'll catch you next time.